hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video you're going to create this traffic con in maya and while modeling this traffic con in maya i'm going to go through the basics of it and we're going to learn about how to solve the n-gons and uh, and keep our geometry to quad polygon so there are going to be a few tips in this video so i'm going to try to explain all of them step by step so let's open a reference for our model so here we have this reference image so i'm going to work on this so as you can see that uh, we have this base here which looks like a cube so we're going to start with a cube and change the parameters so let's take something like four and four and uh, since we don't need this much height i'm going to decrease it to something like 0 0.25 all right so now we can either block out this cylindrical part or this cone or we can bevel these corners to get this round shape so let's start with the block out first so to model this center part what i need to do first uh, I need to add some subdivisions in depth and width. So what happens if I don't add the subdivision? So I'm going to create another cube and place this here. Add the same parameters. And uh, on this one, I'm not going to add any subdivisions. So to get this uh, circular part, we need to select these faces and then use circularize to get this uh, roundness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to face mode, select all these, press control E and add some offset like this. So now since we added uh, these subdivisions, if I go to edit mesh and use circularize, so all the points are connected now and every polygon in this mesh is a core polygon. Each polygon has four sides. Now, if I don't add subdivisions here and uh, select this face, add some offset like this, go to edit mesh and use circularize. It's not going to work. So we need to add some divisions in this circularize modifier. So if I increase the divisions here, what you see is that our shape is getting in a circular shape, but here we have few n-gons. So these polygons are having more than four edges so either you can add some segments here and then connect manually or what you can do is you can add some subdivisions in the beginning to avoid this so that's why we used two subdivisions here so now i think we are done with this so let's go to face mode or since all these quadrants are identical what we can do is we can uh, go to top view and we can delete all these faces and just leave one quadrant and when we bevel this side we're going to just make duplicates and copy them to get the shape so i'm going to select this and bevel so we don't need that much roundness here so i'm going to decrease the fraction and add few subdivisions like this so i think this much should be fine and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these edges and then delete leave this one delete all these and just go to top view go to multi cut tool select this and just attach it here like this repeat the same thing with this one like this so now we have all these polygons and each of these polygons are a quad now so they are all having only four sides so 
so what you can do is go to top view press ctrl d reduplicate and then rotate it like this again press shift d to rotate with the transformation or duplicate with the transformation and one more time to complete this shape so select everything go to combine combine all the parts go to vertices select all the vertices and merge increase the threshold just a little bit to make sure everything is merged completely so our base is completed and as for these parts what you can do is you can uh, repeat the same thing here so here we have some angons so select this go to multi cut tool select this and attach it here repeat the same thing with this one and on all four sides just connect the corner vertices like this so one more time and for this one just select this one and merge it here only with the center edge now these two are quote polygons so i think we have finished down here now let's extrude this part so select these four faces let's control e and uh, increase the thickness like this and you can change the offset to taper this part so just add some offset it's going to get in this shape like this so on the top we have some detail like this so to get this just add another offset like this and again extrude and just a little bit of offset now one more time you can add offset by pressing shift and scale it like this then go to front view press 4 to go in the wireframe mode and intrude it so press shift and push this down like this and scale it down just to align with these edges like this and since these faces are not going to be visible you can just delete them right so our basic shape is oh you can say that our block out is finished now if i press 3 and uh, apply smooth the shape is going to be deformed like this so we need to add some supporting edges uh, which holds our hard edges or the hard corners so first of all so there are two ways to add supporting edges so what you can do is you can either use multi cut tool or insert edge loop tool so if i use insert edge loop tool it's going to work just fine on this part but on here it's not going to work very well because it needs a certain edge loop to work with so we have an edge loop here so it's going to work here but not on the top like this so what we can do is for areas like this you can just select the edges so i'm going to use the select similar to select all the edges on this parameter and to add the supporting edge i'm going to use bevel so if you don't want the roundness in your shape just turn off the chamfer and we also don't want our corners to be very smooth so i'm going to turn down the friction
and let's do the same thing here so i'm going to select these two parts and bevel turn off the chamfer decrease the friction and let's try the insert edge loop tool for these or the multi cut tool so to add the edge loop you need to use the multi cut tool and press ctrl and it's going to add the edge loop here like this So if you have an edge loop like this, which is a little bit further than the desired place. So what you can do is you can uh, select this and use this slide edge tool. So when you select this, uh, it's not going to work with the left to right mouse button. You need to use your mouse wheel. So click on your mouse wheel and just move it like this. Sometimes it doesn't work very well. So just try to work with it like this and i think we are done here so let's press 3 and see the topology and the mesh flow now so it looks pretty good all the polygons are codes and our topology looks very nice and so does our model so let's try assigning a blend material to check the glossiness and that's how our final model looks so if you see this whiteness around the corners or the hard edges so what you need to do to remove this just take multi cut or insert edge loop tool and add some subdivisions like this and it's going to get rid of it so i'm going to add a smooth modifier with two divisions and it's going to increase the number of polygon in this model but we're not too worried about that so let's apply a material and add some color here so i'm going to use a standard surface material here so let's go to assign new material go to arnold and use ai standard surface I'm going to go to edit delete by type history and remove all that unnecessary information after we are done with our modeling so let's select this and i'm going to name it orange and i'm going to change the color click here take this picker select this and again go to front view face mode i'm going to select the faces around here like this and some here then assign a new material again go to arnold extend surface and this one will keep white like this so you can use any hdi image to render this out so that's what i'm going to do close this so i'm going to download an hdri image so you can use uh, polyheaven.com for hdri images so let's take something that will match our model so i'll take this highway midday hdri image download it so to use that hdri image let's go to arnold light and select this sky dome and in the color section of this sky dome click here go to file and we are going to import our hdri image so just locate your image in your pc and then open it like this So let's uh, go to Arnold again and uh, render. Uh, 
uh, rotate your HDRI image to get a better lighting. like this now we're going to add a shadow mat to get some shadow of the object here so to assign a new shadow mat what you can do is you can just take a new plane increase the width and height make sure it's right below this model so i'm going to pull this up like this so select your plane right click assign a new material and go to arnold and select this ai shadow mat and make sure your background is set to background scene and now let's go to arnold and render and it's going to generate a shadow using this hdr image and make it look like a realistic scene like this so you can go to arnold render setting and uh, change the image ratio or the resolution and also you can change the render device if you want to render on your gpu So to remove the excess noise, just go to windows, click on this display setting, go to add image and use this denoiser optics and it's going to remove all the excess noise from your renders. And if you don't want your image to be so bright, select your sky dome and you can turn down the intensity. like this so that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new we have crossed 10,000 subscribers on this channel so thank you very much for that number i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching